Welcome to our short video about the Exonering Downshift Blip Modules Blip Control Program. This is a USB program that runs on any Windows PC to allow you to change settings on your Downshift Blip Module. Before you get started, you'll want to connect the USB cable to your Downshift Blip Module. You can look in your device manager for the serial port that it is assigned. When it's connected, it'll be assigned a COM port. You want to make sure that's done before you open the blip control program. Now you can select your COM port that the blip module is connected to. It'll start connection and automatically read out the settings that are in the blip module. You look here, the blip is set to 50% for 300 milliseconds. The buffer, which is the minimum amount of time between two consecutive blips, is set to 300 milliseconds. The delay is set to zero, which means from the time the brake and the clutch are pressed, there'll be no additional delay before the blip is initiated. If you come over to the About tab, you can have a Factory Reset button, which will restore these settings. Or you can click on the Info button to learn more about what all the settings mean. The Diag mode allows you to monitor what the real-time signals are from the clutch and brake pedal sensors. Shelby GT350 or Mustangs, the clutch is high and the brake circuit is low. When the brake pedal is pressed, it'll go to high. When the clutch pedal is pressed, the clutch will go low. At that time, a blip would be initiated. So this allows you to look at each of your pedals in real time so you can make sure that the signals are connected. You can make any changes at any time uh, the blip percentage in 5% increments. Say you want it to blip to 80%, you can click that and write the settings down. It'll say writing settings and notify you when it's complete. All of our downshift blip modules come from the factory with a default setting. Say you make changes and you kind of lose track of what you've set everything to and you've programmed everything. You can always come over now ask if you're sure, and it'll restore the factory settings. It'll let you know when they're restored. If you come back to the settings button and read out the settings, you'll notice it goes back to 50% blip for 300 milliseconds. So that's a really brief overview of the general settings. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments, and we'll make sure we answer them for you. Thanks.